What is going on guys, Tiswafa here, and welcome back to some more Minecraft Legends. Now last time we left off, we actually attacked and destroyed two of the Horde of the Bastion's portals, and they were like super duper defensive. They, did they attack themselves again? Made an error, okay. <laughs> I guess they did, huh? But anyway, speaking of attack, we're going to be attacked over here at this village. Seems like we upset the leader of the Horde of the Bastion. Help tonight. Yeah, we're going to need our help. We're going to, there, there's still wood over here, so we need to upgrade them to stone as soon as possible. But their leader, was he called like the Unbreakable or some of that? I don't think I ever looked it up in this. I had to look it up online. Uh, it doesn't, I don't think it shows him yet. Uh, I think maybe whenever we actually encounter him and then it'll show him. But apparently he's called the Unbreakable, which makes sense because they're all like defensive and whatnot over there. Or the Bastion and whatnot, right? But anyways, for here, yeah, you can see this, this here needs to be repaired. So we need to build a carpenter hut here. Let's try and get it in range of other buildings and whatnot. Yeah, this place is about right there-ish. And we definitely want to get some masonries here so we can upgrade all the walls as well as all the towers into stone. We have plenty of resources right now. A little bit low on iron and, and a little bit redstone, but I think we can go over here to the chest see if there's anything else inside of it. Uh, there we go. Awesome. Yeah, we're basically full on everything except for redstone now. <laughs> but yeah, last episode we actually started recruiting some of these villagers. You can even see them right there. They're warriors now. They're basically like Vindicator Illagers, which is pretty cool. Uh, so is there... Yeah, I don't think there's any stone or uh, masonries here at all, so let's just start building them. So one in each corner, that should cover all the village. Not enough resources. Oh yeah, I'm out of... Is that 200? Yes, yeah, 200 iron. Golly. Can I grab more iron from this, though? Because all we're missing is the redstone from earlier. Okay, we did get a little bit of iron right there. Remember, all the village chests are actually connected now, which is great. Uh, there you go. And yeah, we need to get more iron out. Which biome is this? We're in the diamond biome. Okay, so we just need to go next door to the forest. Get a little bit of iron over there. So let's go over there real quick, because I think we already tapped all the resources in these chests. Did we? Yeah, we just got a little bit of wood and a little bit of stone right there. So we're going to have to go manually mine this up ourselves, huh? A little bit of iron right here. Guess we'll grab that up. Only getting 48 iron right there, though. Now let's actually see what time it is right now. Um... I think it's going to be nightfall any time now, so we need to hurry up and try and get this iron and fortify that base a little bit quicker. I guess I'm seeing like basically no more iron, so we may have just one corner that still would, which is going to be a big old weak spot if we can't upgrade it. I keep looking around though, but nightfall is going to happen any second now, and we still need to build those scattered towers and whatnot. I don't know if there could be ores like actually underwater though. Can there be? Oh yeah, I guess so, huh? Yeah, look at that. I guess we're mining right there. Yeah, look at that. Getting a little bit more right there. Okay, cool. So we're gaining... We're still not going to hit 200. Oh, maybe over here. Plus 5, plus 4, plus 2. Oh, yeah, there's nothing else there. Man. All right, well, at least we know we can actually mine it underwater. I just don't know if there are any more veins of iron around here underwater, though, right? So, man. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else. So, yeah, let's just go back. Let's just teleport, actually. It's going to make it a lot faster. Let's build some more scattered towers. And I didn't even double wall it either, so I definitely should have done that first. Let's see. They barely even upgraded this around here, but uh, I feel like double walling it, that's probably the biggest priority right now, so let's definitely get that going first. Oh, jeez, they're attacking right now. Man, only double walled like two walls, so I'm like, it's better than nothing, but we've got so many zombies. Hold on, where is the actual boss himself, the Unbreakable, I think he's called? Is he actually here? I don't see him. Incoming Horde of the Bastion, the Pigslins are moving into attack. Now, hopefully those Carpenter Huts... Hopefully those actually repaired any uh, weak build. I can already see them attacking over there. On that side, it's already made out of uh, stone, so that's good. I try and get... Do we have any teleport? I do. Okay, so let's recall. Try and get all of our army over here and try and defend that wall. Let's get all these guys to follow, as well as, yeah, all of our first two. Open up the gate. Let's start swiping at all these piglin here. There we go. All right, so just command them all to attack like that. I guess I'll keep my eyes peeled. Yeah, we have a lot of them back there in the background. I don't know if there's the leader around here. I can see a uh, lava launcher all the way back there in the background, though. Seems like the Unbreakable isn't actually joining us, which is good. He may still be in the Nether. Maybe he only escapes the Nether whenever we actually destroy all three portals like the other uh, leaders. That's probably what happens. And as we saw earlier, there's still one more portal left standing, so I guess after we fend off against the Horde of the Bastion here, we may have to go destroy that last portal. Might as well keep building walls if I can find Yeah, right here. Keep building walls. Stay defensive. If anything, it's, it's all, even if we're... Oh, man, they broke through that side? What in the world? Got to uh, recall them all over here. <laughs> but if anything, even if the leader isn't over here, definitely want to get the double walls anyways. Yeah, they took down this gate right here, unfortunately, but it is double walled, so let me try and recall everyone over here, maybe get some more zombies. Uh, recall, there we go. There's some zombies. This is the zombie spawner right here, so we can get a lot of zombies. Let's get all these guys going. 
probably spawn in some skeletons here in a minute too, but yeah, they're attacking on this side, I see. Five and a half more minutes. There's a lava launcher all the way back there in the background. Yeah, they're right here. Man, they just took down one of the towers. Might we need to start building a uh, scatter towers, a few scatter towers on the inside, honestly. Just so we, if they do keep breaking through like that, at least the fountain will be more defended, right? Let's get some scatter towers going on here in the inside, like so. There we go. Just kind of throw them all over the place. Scatter them about, if you will. Yeah, I definitely want to get some more scatter towers there. They're not even upgraded to stone, unfortunately. We have some warriors here, though. This is good. Let's get them to help out on this side. I don't know where they get. Were they there this whole time? I don't know, but there they go. Start slicing them up with your hatchets. <laughs> yeah, we have a portal guardian or whatever that is all the way back there. So let's definitely attack him. We have all the uh, warriors right here taking on these last few piglins. So that's good. If one keep charging this away. So how, how good are... The warrior, so so that's that's basically a mini boss. This this portal guardian guy. We have a few zombies right there. I don't see where the vindicators are. They're mixed in there. They already took him down. Holy heck! <laughs> I barely get to watch that battle at all. <laughs> oh geez, is that lava launcher coming back? Yeah, he's shooting at us. I think. Or he's going to start shooting at us. Let's attack! Like so. Oh man! <laughs> all right. Well, hopefully we're going to be able to take him down. We're already down three hearts, so we need to watch out for that. But man, look at all the zombies here. We even have some warriors helping out. I'm helping out with my diamond sword. And get away. Oh, wow, they already took him down. Man, this army is amazing against these mini bosses, I guess you can call them. So did they break in yet? Three minutes left. Fountain's still at 100%, even if they... Yeah, they're, they're breaking in on this side. Yeah, 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 I see, I see uh, piglin leaders are on this side, too. Scuttling in like a bunch of roaches. <laughs> Do I have any skeletons? I don't think I have any skeleton spawners here, unfortunately, so... Definitely get a skeleton spawner. Because we have a lot of zombies, we have a lot of warriors and whatnot. Definitely want to get some skeletons, because they're always good, right? We'll spawn in a bunch of them. Especially, yeah, because they're able to shoot over walls and stuff. Yeah, they're shooting right now. Alright, so they still attacking? Or what? Yeah, we still have warriors right here. Oh yeah, they're attacking right here, Slope. Command them to push forward and take down this... Wow, they already took down that portal guardian, or... Is he glitched? I don't know. Why is he all red? <laughs> okay, now he's down. He just tipped over. <laughs> awesome. We got another portal guardian all the way back there with his mace. It's like flying out like that. It's crazy. Now, hopefully the skeletons in the back are going to be able to snipe him down. I think here on the outside. Yeah, there's still a few over here. Let's try and get these firsts. Help out this. They're attacking over here. There you go. Try and get small little groupings like that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The portal guardian is going to go down. Let's help him out. With a diamond sword, of course. A little bit less. Oh, jeez, a bunch Another of stuff. Group of piglins coming your way. Yeah, I see the bunch of piglins just spawned in right there. Keep attacking, keep attacking all those piglins. I'm going to slice and dice. <laughs> About a minute and a half left. I think they're all, yeah, right here on the inside. Yep. Okay, so attack over here. Yeah, thankfully they're just attacking the walls. They're all distracted by the walls, which is good. <laughs> we're not actually going straight for the uh, fountain. Let's get all of our armory over here. Yeah, these guys are just sitting around doing. Oh, wait, here we go, here we go. The piglins keep coming. Now hopefully the uh, first of stone is able to throw a big boulder at him and, and do some good splash damage. Maybe he's already done that. Yeah, he does have like a melee attack, I guess. He's, he's like jumped up on the ground right there. Yeah, he's like stomping on the ground. So that's good. So he's not all range. So he's both melee and range, which is good to know. All right, so we got 12 seconds left. We're going to kill any remaining stragglers here. So here we got a portal guardian or whatever he is. There you go. Take this guy down. Swipe at him with a sword. Try and get some skeletons to help us out too. The tables have turned. Now it is time to remove the rest of the piglins. Yeah, it's just a small little grouping left. A little bit less than 20 left now, so that's great. I think right here, yeah, we still have this poor guardian, so keep attacking him. Hopefully all the skeletons will be able to take him down. Man, look at that big flurry of arrows! And there's another uh, bit of army over there, too, so. Once we're all done, that portal guardian guy, which is right now. <laughs> we're going to keep pushing forward over here. Only three left we need to kill, and then they'll retreat. Yeah, right here. And there's a lot more over there, too. Yeah, golly. <laughs> They just keep slicing into our base. Well, at least the fountain's still at 100%, so we we'll have to worry about that, but I'm going to keep repairing all this stuff. <laughs> but there you go! We've successfully defended the fountain and the village! But the village took heavy hits, so we're going to have to start repairing and continue building masonries and stuff here in the future if we can. It's only 14 uh, iron away from building another masonry. Maybe by now, if we check the chest, maybe we'll have 14 iron there, maybe a bunch more. <laughs> we'll be able to build that fourth masonry, let's see. Open up the chest, and yep, yeah, look at that, we're at 300 uh, stone or uh, iron right now. We're basically falling everything except for redstone again, so yeah, I'm going to have to rebuild the uh, gate over here and basically everything else. And yeah, I, I want to do a redstone launcher. I, I even said the last episode I wanted to have a power tower during the defense too. I forgot to do that, but I'm not going to forget to do it whenever we actually go on the offensive later this episode, so definitely want to build some, like, what, blast towers whenever we destroy that last portal. Definitely don't want to forget about that. And yeah, let's continue getting uh, skeletons, because they have so many walls, and skeletons are able to shoot over walls, or I'm amazing against the Horde of Bastion, right? Uh, zombies out in front to soak up damage and even deal some pretty good damage too, as we've seen. They're, they're pretty good on their own. Uh, and of course, skeletons in the back do some good ranged damage from a nice safe distance. 
Now, did I upgrade all the walls to double by now? It looks like it. Yeah, I think so. I, I think we're good to go now, you guys. I, I think this village, all we have to do is just play the waiting game and wait for all the all, all the walls and gates and whatnot to get upgraded to stone, which, I'm mean, like, we don't have to actually be here for that. We can just go on the offensive, especially right now during the day. Are they still injured? Are they still uh, make that mistake? I guess uh, we'll build a new outpost somewhere. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe they repaired whatever damage they did to themselves here. I don't know. Check the chest one more time because we've just spent a bunch of resources. Might as well get full inventory again, right? Yeah, basically full inventory, golly. Now, where do we get the redstone? The swamp? Do I have to go? Yeah, I have to go all the way down there. I don't think there's a swamp up here, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, there's... Yeah, you can get it in the jungle, too. So we could go over here, but it's, like, very small and skinny. So I don't know if we'll be able to find them over there. I guess we could try... Actually, yeah, isn't there... Uh, yeah, 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 right here next to the uh, Horde of the Bashes. So... Oh, that's that's a stun tower, not a village. Definitely want to build a... Uh, one of those... Output one, one of these say well houses. I need to build one down here because we have like no teleports down here So I guess what I could do is go to this village head south get some redstone and then go up there Because I think we need redstone to build those power towers, right? So it definitely wouldn't hurt to have full redstone and while we're here This village needs to be upgraded too. golly. We got 300 iron. Should I spend it right now? I'm like, I don't think I should spend my resources if this village isn't like actively being attacked or targeted or anything like that, right? So uh, right now 261. I think we're basically maxed out on redstone at 300 because that's what yeah that's that's what's maxed out it with iron and coal so all we need to get a little bit of redstone we're like right next to the jungle biome so it shouldn't be too hard yeah there's redstone like right there so i didn't really need to go far so real quick yeah, yeah so we need 100 redstone to build one blast tower so we could effectively build three of these things because we have three blast tower like cores or whatever but remember if we uh yeah i guess i might as well just target this next Actually, should I go to the Well of Fate first? Yeah, you know, let's go to the Let's fast travel there and then head towards them from the Well of Fate. I kind of want to regroup over here and spawn some stuff in and figure out, like, what are we going to do and what are we going to take? Let's recall, make sure everyone's nice and grouped together. Let's see how many skeletons, how many... We have a pretty, yeah, we have a lot of skeletons. I'm not too surprised by that because all the zombies were on the front lines taking the brunt of the damage, right? So definitely want to get some more zombies to help replace the ones that we lost. We still have a good amount of skeletons, so I don't think we really need to get too many of them. Might want to get some, uh, yeah, let's get a few, mo man, we're at 46 out of, gotta leave that one up fast. Get a few, uh, mossy golems here, though, that heal us up, support us. Oh, we're any warriors. Oh, there they are. Okay, they take a second to spawn in, so boom. Yeah, we're at 70. I think, I feel like we maxed out at 70. Guess we'll be taking them, and we'll go over, yeah, let's go back to the well fate. <laughs> Seems like the well fate's the closest ones to Horde of the Ashes last outpost. Or base, nether portal, whatever you want to call it. So, now that we're here, let's go this way, and let's take on and destroy the Horde of the Bastion. The first thing I should do is definitely lay down that blast tower. But let's not lay it down too close to anything to where it can get like immediately destroyed. Or maybe, yeah, you know what? Maybe once we're there, then we'll destroy some of their buildings, mainly the ones that have those like explosive thingies. And then we'll lay down the blast tower. That's going to be really good. Or should I use like a freeze tower? Hold on, what all, what all do I have? What, what, what all towers do I have available in my arsenal? We have the stun tower. That could be really good. Stuns enemies within range. Cannot damage on Earth. Yeah, that could be really good. Frost tower. Frost cubes that slows enemies over time, cannot be buffed by other structures. I don't know. Stun tower seems pretty good. Blast tower seems pretty good too. Fires projectiles on knockback enemies on impact cannot be buffed by other structures. Mm, I don't know. Just thinking which one would be better, the stun in, in, in an enclosed scenario like the Horde of the Bastion's bases? I don't know. Okay, that's their bait. Yeah, I can see the netherrack. So where's their Oh, Oh gosh, there it is right there. And their portal is protected by lava coils. I can see one of them right next to the portal. And there's another one all the way back there on the right. How many lava coals are in there, though? Man, I don't want these guys falling. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you guys all, all stay here. All you guys. Oh, yeah, they get. See, that's the explosive thing I need to watch out for. Let me float around because I could actually float with this guy. I just commanded my army to stay back. And let me figure out where their actual entry. I might be on the opposite side. There's the other lava tower right there. Good. Or lava coil, whatever you want to call it. Man, look at how defended this is. Yeah, they're just wasting their time shooting at me because I'm just floating around right now. <laughs> let's keep going this way, though. And that's got to be where their actual uh, ramp entrance is. Yep, there it is right there. Okay, so I guess we build a little bit of a base on the outside of that. I don't know if we want to build a blast tower there. But we definitely want to have somewhere to retreat to, right? Once we actually kill some of their uh, nether spreaders, then we can start building some other stuff inside there. But for right now, let's definitely get rid of some of the nether rack here. Oh, wait. I think. Yeah, look at that. Now we can actually uh, start cleaning up on this side. Awesome. Yeah, okay, so yeah, definitely want to get the elase to start cleaning a little bit on that edge, and then that basically opens up a spot for us to keep cleaning over there. Awesome! Okay, so we 
can basically start uh, building on their side of the base now. Awesome. I'll have to actually start building from here, but I definitely want to have a little bit of a base. So we have somewhere to retreat to, right? But once we actually get through those walls, once we get through the gate, that's going to be a perfect spot for us to build a blast tower and whatnot, right? Okay, so now let's definitely get, yeah, skeleton spawner, zombie spawner, and of course, reaper spawner. Those are like the main ones we want to have here, right? Uh, I don't know if we'll have like scatter towers and whatnot over here. I guess we could try. Yeah, there you go. Maybe get a gate over here too. Just kind of protect us a little bit. Maybe some walls. Yeah, because we've got those like explosive things that are heading towards us like that. So if we want to have a little bit of protection. All right, so let's recall all our army here. Now, what all do we have here? We have the skeletons. We have, do we have any warriors? I thought we had warriors. I don't know where they're at. They despawn or something like that? I, they might have. I guess we can get some creepers mixed into here. So there you go. Get some of those bad boys. There you go. Let's get all these guys to follow. Wait, I only have one of my first, too. Yeah, they probably died on the terrain, honestly. Yeah. All right. I might be able to build a well house, too. I should probably do that, honestly. I don't know if I'm going to do it right here. <laughs> this is kind of a crazy area to do it, but let's have one push forward towards their gate. And we have some creepers mixed in, so hopefully they'll be able to explode on their gate. Yeah, we have four creepers. That should be enough. I think it took four creepers to destroy a wall previously, so boom. And the gate is down. Awesome. Okay, so. Ha, you have broken through their defenses. Oh, yeah, there's a lava lava tower, lava coil right there. Everyone start attacking it. Already have the skeletons attacking it, so that's good. Yeah, those, those explosive things, those are coming from that thing back there. So we definitely want to take on that thing next. And there it goes. There she blows. All right, yeah, take down that tower right there. It's shooting those explosive, like, spiky thingies. <laughs> I'll help defend you guys a little bit from these piglin here. I don't know where our skeletons are at. Yeah, there's a piglin pit right here. I don't know where the skeletons are at, what they're shooting at right now. Hopefully, he's shooting over here still. That'd be really good. But that tower is officially down. Hopefully, there you go. Now it's down. Okay, good, good, good. I won't just keep attacking these towers. I'll keep attacking these piglin around here. <laughs> now, where are my skeletons at? Are they exposed? Are they doing a good job? Yeah, they're still doing a good job from all the way back here. Let's get these guys to keep pushing forward. We actually have a first of whatever that guy is right there. First of brick, so that's good. I guess we can keep pushing forward here. Just keep destroying their buildings, right? Yeah, look at that. We have a piglin pit right there, so let's keep attacking that. We have a blaze tower right there, too, so I don't want to take that down so we don't keep attacking us, right? Yeah, we have the skeletons already shooting at it right now. Is that a gate? It is. Okay, so cool. That's, that's going to be our way into there. And I think there's another lava tower over there, too. Lava coil, too, so. Uh, where was it? I remember it was over there somewhere. And there's another one. The third one's, like, next to the portal itself. Uh, that's the third one right there. Man, I don't know where it is, but... There's a lot of zombies here taking on all these piglins, which is good. Another piglin pit right there we need to take down, though. Get our uh, zombie or our skeletons to keep pushing forward here. Where are they at? Yeah, here we are. Right here. Keep pushing forward. And take down this last piglin pit before we hit the gate. And I'll probably get a creeper spawner right there. Let me, uh, get the nether spreader. Or, uh, what do you call Man, this guy's blocking all of our uh, skeletons from pushing forward some more. <laughs> Man. All right, let's keep, uh, cleaning here. Oh, yeah, yeah, They took down the piglin pit right there. Good, good, good. They're already attacking the gate right there, too. Cool. Uh, let's keep cleansing this. And then we'll get a creeper spawner right here. Because we have plenty of coal. We could spawn in a bunch of those bad boys. We don't want to spawn in a bunch and head straight toward the other portal just yet. It's still being protected by those lava coals, remember? There you go. So now we're up here to the gate. There we go. Let's take down that blast tower next. Because I think, like I keep saying, over there's another uh, lava coil thing somewhere. But you can't see it there. They're attacking that piglin pit for some reason. I don't know why. Might get a uh, creeper spawner here anyways, like I keep saying. And then just recall all of our stuff, because they're, they're starting to get spread all over the place here, so. There you go, get a creeper spawner about right here. Whoop, there you go. Yeah, we have our zombies. I don't know what they're doing. They're just attacking the gate there for some strange reason. All right, let's get all of our army. Attack this piglin pit right here. I keep on uh, cleansing the area with the nether rack. And defending against these small little piglin right here, too. Yep, there you go. All right, looking at the minimap right now, seems like the other lava cool is somewhere in that direction. It might be on the exact opposite side we were at just a minute ago, so let's get all these guys to follow us. Keep pushing forward. Take down this plate, blast tower. Oh, gosh, you got that thing in the background. Hold on. I want to take that thing down first instead of the blaze tower right here. Man, let's get these guys to attack this thingy. Oh, there it is. I see a lava tower in the background. Good, good, good. All right, this explosive tower launcher thingy <laughs> just fell, so that's good. Keep pushing over here. I'm going to start spawning in some more stuff here pretty soon. So our army's starting to get a little bit thin, but I kind of want them... Yeah, you know what? Take down the piglin pit. We can skip over to another spreader, and then we'll take down that second lava coal. And then we'll take down the third lava coal and just spawn in a bunch of creepers to take on the actual portal itself. Oh, man. Piglin are invading. Are they uh, invading a village? Or... Oh, they're just building... Okay, they're just building another base right there. Okay, good. They're just wasting their time. That's good. Their actual base is getting attacked right now. Their last base is getting attacked, and they're building another random outpost over there instead of defending this place. Golly. All right, the second lava coil is getting really cracked up right now, which is great. 
Then I'll spawn in a uh, creeper spawner here in a second. We'll start. Sp yeah, oh, that's not a gate right there, though. Man, I guess we'll have to wrap around the other direction then, huh? So I'm going to keep coming this way. We'll go back. I don't know if that, that creeper spawner got destroyed. Yeah, these creeper spawners I tried spawning earlier. <laughs> Those got destroyed, unfortunately. But take down this nether spider real quick. Just won't have to worry about that spread more nether around here. Oh my gosh, you guys. I thought I was recording there for a second, but I wasn't. But uh, the portal just exploded. <laughs> Man. Oh, at least you guys get to see the uh, cinematic here, though. Oh, that's supposed to represent me. He's doing target practice against me. I guess we know what this means. He's going to be attacking our villages. Just like the Horde of the Hunt. Or maybe, is he going to be attacking me? Specifically, like, wherever I am, is he going to follow me or something? It is time. The Unbreakable has come for you. Yeah, that's what I thought. He's going to be coming for me, not the villages themselves. Golly. But yeah, I stopped recording for like two minutes and then came back, regrouped my army, and then took on this last lava coil that was like right here. And you guys didn't really miss too much. Once the lava coil went down, we started targeting the actual portal itself. You guys seen that a few times before, right? And yeah, I had a creeper uh, spawner right here too. I was sending some creepers in here and there, and that took down the portal super, super fast. Ah, but man, ah, wish I was recording that. But you guys have already seen me destroy two more of their portals, so that's not that big of a deal if we missed out on it too much, right? But let's you know, so open up this chest, this piglin chest. I guess we'll look at the map. It's 70 prismary, not bad, because we're still maxed out on that, golly. Where is it? Oh, gosh, yeah, yeah. He built another base over there, just like the Horde of the Spore. There is a new piglin base in the world. Their hunger spreads like a sickness. Okay, well, at least it's kind of close to these other villages, but that might be a bad thing, because maybe they're going to try and attack the villages. I don't know, but yeah, it seems like the, the Horde of the Spore had his own base whenever we destroyed everything else. Now the Horde of the Bastion has his own base, the Unbreakable, the leader of the Horde of the Bastion. Is he going to tell me anything about him specifically now if uh, I don't actually have that unlocked? Let's see. I don't think so. The Devourer, the Beast. I probably have to actually encounter him first. Then it's going to tell us about him, right? Golly. Anyways, I guess we'll go back to the Well of Fate. Should we go back there? Yeah, you know what? Let's go back to the Well of Fate. Fast travel back there. Maybe we get our first, because we did leave some behind, unfortunately. Probably, yeah, you know what happened? I tried to go get some warriors to follow us, and then the warriors followed us, but that meant leave behind the firsts. Either that or the, all the warriors and firsts and whatnot got lost on the heckin' terrain whenever we're on the way to the Horde of the Bastion, right? But anyways, our spawned in army right now. A few skeletons, a few zombies. I can definitely get some more. I don't have that many mossy golems, so let's definitely get a few of those. There we go. Get some more zombie. And a couple more skeletons, too. There we go. So now we're full on that, so that's great. Now we can head to, I guess, yeah, this village right here is going to be the closest one, huh? So let's go there, open up the chest, see if there's anything up inside. And yeah, we're full on everything again, except for the redstone. At least we got a little bit of redstone right there. 100 redstone, so that's pretty good. I did build a uh, blast tower during that uh, unrecorded footage right there, but immediately got heckin' destroyed, unfortunately. So I guess we lost that one forever, So, but we can still build two more, so it's not that big of a deal. But there's the Unbreakable over there. Set the marker there, and let's head towards them. I think it's morning time right now. Yeah, that's the east. So we have basically the entire day to take on their base, which might be a good thing, because they're always extra powerful during the nighttime, right? And we got some redstone, like, right here, so let's mine that up. We'll be able to use that to build some more blast towers and whatnot, right? All right, yeah, right there, I see one of their towers doing the explodey thingy. Let the ramp no. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out where the ramp to get into their base is, you know? Just so we're not wasting time. Oh yeah, this one's full four difficulty. No lava coals protecting the portal though. Oh, cutscene. There he is. The unbreakable. I guess we'll see how unbreakable he really is once I spawn in a bunch of creepers, huh? Oh, he sees me. What the pff? friendly fire! <laughs> He's so mad he doesn't care. His belt buckle looks like a piglet, too. That is a lot of piglin. You're right. Size is not everything, my friend. You know that better than most. Trust in our hero. Yeah, oh, jeez. Right as I say, yeah, watch out for the lava. Golly, I get hit right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking all around for the uh, ramp to get in. I just don't know if I need to build my own. Probably do, honestly. If that's the case, this might be the best entrance into there, huh? Yeah, this is probably the best way into there, so I'll have to build my own ramp. Uh, which I guess I could have done for the other bases, but uh, there we go. So now we can go across this. Yeah, we have 100% for him. Take down these Piglin Pit right here, though. Take them down, and then I'll have to repair or uh, clean up some of the Netherrack around here. Hopefully I can do it. We have to start from all the way back here, though. All the way back? Golly, I have to start from all the way back here. <laughs> 
Unless I can come across another spreader or whatever, but I'm gonna start from back here and start making my way forward. Oh, yep. Okay, so we got it on this side cleaned up. That's good. Start cleaning some more on this side. We got some zombies. I don't know what they're doing. They're just standing around doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, attack their uh, blaze, blaze tower or whatever that is right there. We have some magma cubes. What in the world? I don't think I've seen them in this game yet. That's pretty cool. There you go. They might have been there this whole time. I just never noticed them until now. <laughs> Another nether spreader there on the outside, but let's keep cleaning this here. And we'll push forward through their gates. Oh, should I build a blast tower like right here? I kind of want to, honestly. That'd be a great spot to put it, honestly. It's like right on the outside. It has huge heckin' range. Can't build it on top of myself, though, so. Yeah, I guess we'll build it right there, and then we'll use that as a nice area. Yeah, you know what? Build a gate right there. Let's get some moles around the blast tower to try and protect the blast tower. Is the blast tower done? I think it is. Yeah, I think it's attacking right now. Good. So, uh, there you go. Then, uh, hopefully I can get some spawners snuck into here, too. Creeper spawner, zombie, skeleton. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, the other one that I built, like I said, it, it heckin' died immediately, so it's not that big of a deal, honestly. <laughs> I missed out on that footage, but Blast Tower is... Can I see it? Oh, man, it's taking down their heckin' wall there! Amazing! Holy heck! We'll target down, everyone, target down their gate. With the skeletons targeting down their gate, we have the zombies over here not doing anything. <laughs> but there you go, man, their wall just blew up right there! Holy, that's good. I, still, I don't know why they're still attacking the gate, though. <laughs> I'm like, I just commanded them to attack the gate, but still. Let's keep cleaning up this area, though. All the LAs. So we've got tons of them. Okay, the gate just went down. Great stuff. Then we're going to push forward. Yeah, the, the Blast Tower doesn't really have the biggest range in the universe, but at least we have somewhere to come back to, right? Now, where is... Oh, gosh, we had a Portal Guardian guy right there. He might be outside of range of the uh, Blast Tower, unfortunately, but at least we have a nice area to come back to, right? Is it still attacking? Yeah, it's still attacking the walls. Jeez. <laughs> That's actually really good, honestly. Now, what about this big thing right here. I don't know what this is. I don't want everyone to attack the Portal Guardian right there, though. He's doing some great damage. I'll help out myself, too. I don't know where the actual... Is that another lava? They have a second lava moat right there. Jeez. Yeah, we have all these zombies right next to this Portal Guardian. This building right here, whatever this is, that's about to go down. It's down. <laughs> awesome. Even more reinforcements heading back there. The Portal Guardian just fell. Take down this piglin pit so he stopped spawning in. We don't have to worry about any uh, lava coils around here, but I don't know where the actual boss himself is. Is he next to the portal? He might be, yeah, it looks like, looking at the minimap, I think that's him. Yeah, he, he's like, yeah, he's launching uh, magma cubes, that's what he's doing, I think that's what he is. He, he's a magma cube launcher thingy, that's why I haven't seen him before, because I guess he's the only guy that spawns him in, huh? Interesting. Let's keep uh, cleaning up the area here so we can keep building some stuff, right? So there you go, we got a lot of piglin over here, we're starting to get stretched thin, so I don't want to get a spawner over here. And, uh, yeah, let's get... Yeah, let's get Creeper. There you go. I haven't gotten Creepers during this just yet, so we'll use them to recall our army and, of course, keep breaking down their eggin' walls, right? Keep attacking all the random stuff around here. We'll recall. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, recall here. Yeah, let's, let's go this way. I just don't know. I'm like, I could bust down this and then build a bridge across that, you know? I just don't know if there's a bridge already. Oh, yeah, there's a bridge right there. Okay, perfect. So let's keep heading that away. We got a mining thingy right there. It's going to get us cool, but we're full on, like, everything, so we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Let's keep going to- yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep uh, cleaning up around here, too. Don't forget about that. That's very important. There we go. If anything's behind us, they should get hit by the- Yeah, right there. That piglin just got hit by the blast tower, so that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I get a stun tower around here, too. Yeah, there's a- Man, there's a lot of them back there, though. Golly. Let's keep pushing forward over here, everyone. Keep pushing forward. We got a lot of piglin there. Blast tower, uh, blaze tower right there. Get these guys to push forward a little bit more and uh, keep just attacking stuff in general, I guess, huh? <laughs> and I'll keep pushing forward with my cleansing of the netherrack. Actually, you know what? Back here, let's get some scatter towers, too. That'll help out a lot with the defense of the blast tower, because the blast tower is rather, rather slow, honestly. And yeah, man, they just hit a bunch of piglin right there with the blast tower. Golly, that's amazing. We got a lot of piglin over here, though, so stuff out with a diamond sword. And then once we get up to there, man, I guess we get another creeper spawner or whatever. Get a bunch of creepers, bust through their gate, and just have a huge army of creepers attack the unbreakable and see how unbreakable he really is. <laughs> this tower is getting attacked right now, which is amazing. Doing some awesome damage to all these piglin back here. Hopefully the skeletons behind us are going to keep supporting us. Unless they're too far away. I guess they are, yeah. We're all back here not really doing anything. <laughs> Come on, help out, you guys. You guys are just standing back doing nothing. Yeah, and that tower's down. Awesome. I think right here we can start getting some creepers, right? So let's get a creeper spawner, get a zombie spawner. And we have all these piglin over here, though. Gigantic grouping of piglin. Slicing them up. There you go. Get the creepers right here. And I'll get them to attack. Let's go to creeper. To attack the gate. There you go. Creepers attacking the gates. Gate's going to go down. And we're going to get even more creepers here pretty soon. Okay, that's the... Man, 
Oh, uh, another explosive. Yeah, that thing's all the way back there. Golly. I should definitely get all the uh, zombies and whatnot to recall. There you go. And then we'll push forward this way. Man, I just got glitched right there. That was crazy. <laughs> take down this tower right here, though. There we go. Just focus it down. Anything in your path, take it down. Man, yeah, we're taking down all these, like, nether spiders and whatnot around here, which is good. But all those zombies, look at them. They're all just, wow, they just took down that uh, explosive tower. They're amazing. We have a lot of piglin over here, though. There we go, man. We're, we're going to start cleaning up their entire perimeter here if we keep this up. But we already have that gate down over there. All we have to do is just head in. Get a creeper spawner over there again because I think they just destroyed it. Yeah, we don't have any spawners over here, unfortunately. Man. All right, that's a few random piglin over here. Take them down, and then, of course, recall our army. And let's recall. Recall right here. There you go. I guess we'll just push forward here, huh? Yeah, push forward toward that gate. I can see the uh, leader inside there already. I don't know if I'm able to clean this nether rack and reach it to the other side there. I'll try. It looks like I might be able to. Yep. Okay. Well, I guess we'll keep cleansing this. <laughs> Look at that little sliver right there. And now the gate is down. The gate has been busted down. We get a creeper spawner in there here in a second. The Unbreakable's presence protects this portal. You must defeat them first. So I'll have to kill the Unbreakable first. All right. So we got a lot of zombies heading into there. Get a mint. Oh, I just took down my creeper spawner before it even started getting built. <laughs> He's getting killed all the way over there, though. That's good. We have all these skeletons over here. I don't know what they're doing. They're just packing whatever. Get all these guys. Come on, come on, come on. Back here, back here. And attack. Attack the whatever that go. Man, he's got a flamethrower. Golly. All right, I'm going to get some creepers here. There we go. Hopefully, the creepers can actually do some good damage to the unbreakable. See how unbreakable he really is, like I keep saying. But there you go. Charge forward. He's at 85%. 83, and the creepers are exploding. Down to 71. Another piglin will crumble soon. Keep fighting. Man, I'm going to get even more creepers here, but he's getting sniped down by all those skeletons back there, and of course he's distracted by the zombies. The first has fallen. I think he... Wait, what did he just say right there? I don't know, but he... Oh, yeah, he's targeting down my creeper spawner and whatnot, but really cracked. He's down to 48%. Man, that's amazing. Holy heck. Nothing in the nether could resist this monster, but you can. All right, yeah, let's keep spawning. And Man, a bunch of stuff just died right there. I think his flamethrower finally took down all those zombies right there, unfortunately, but... Get all these creepers right here to attack him immediately. All the skeletons in the background still doing some great damage. We have why do we have plank golems? One the oh that's probably because of the uh, grindstone golem or whatever what's he called? The one that spawns in a bunch of random golems or uh, first <laughs> grindstone first. I don't know. <laughs> we have so many first. I can't remember which one does does what. But is that twelve percent right now? He's going to go down here any second. Ten seconds left or ten percent left. Six percent left. Creepers are now exploding and the unbreakable has been broken. There he goes! We even took down some walls behind him, too. Golly. Uh-oh. It's malfunctioning. Oh! Exploded on his back. His gun is now useless. He's still getting shot at by everything. <laughs> even though he's dead. He's dead, you guys. Stop kicking him while he's down. <laughs> now the portal is vulnerable. Wait, never mind. It just explodes. Okay. Gone. I knew you could do it. Isn't this wonderful, Foresight? Foresight? Wait, what happened? Why is Foresight not answering us? And what is this stuff? Why can't I pick it up?